dear students, I am going to discuss a very very useful short tricks which can save a lot of your time in JMAs and NEET. Let me discuss the first shortcut here. So this is a circuit diagram in which you have to find out the resistance across A and B. In a single step you can do this problem. Appears to be very complex. Now just see here. What you have to do is you can just find out the resistance of one edge. Okay. If you find out the resistance of this one edge, that is going to be the answer. Need not bother about the remaining edges. Okay. So let us see here. So this is R and this is R. That is 2R. Okay. So 2R. And this is R. That means 2R and R are going to be parallel. 2R and R are going to be parallel. That means your answer is 2R into R by 2R plus R. That means your answer is 2R by 3 because you are getting 2R square by 3R. Okay. So R R gets cancelled. 2R by 3 is going to be your answer. Okay. Hope you have enjoyed this one. Next let us go here. Okay, so this is a circuit diagram given. How can you find out the resistance across A and D? So these two. Okay, you have to find out the resistance across A and D. It's a simple shortcut method here. You just remember one thing that these edges are in air. Okay, you have to find out the resistance across A and D. These two are in air, so need not consider them. And the middle one is a Wheatstone bridge. You can just see here. If you see cross, it is just like a Wheatstone bridge, isn't it? And I told you that in a Wheatstone bridge, if all the resistors are same, then any one of the resistors is going to be the answer. That means 10 is going to be the answer. That means this 10 and in the middle Wheatstone bridge, all the resistors are same. So again, 10 is the answer plus 10. When all the resistors are same, any one of the resistors is going to be the answer. So that's why 10. And this is again 10. So your answer is going to be 30 ohms. You have enjoyed it. In this problem, Okay, if all the resistors are going to be 1 ohm, he's asking us to find out the resistance across A and B. Okay, so you have to solve this problem by symmetry method or some, uh, some various methods are there. But I am going to tell you that you have to save the time. Method is not important, time is important in NEET and J mains and MSET also even. So the simple shortcut formula is 8R by 7, that's it. So here 8. R is nothing but 1 and you are going to be taken as 7. So your answer is going to be 8 by 7 ohms. That's it. Do not solve the problem. Okay. Okay. So this is a short step resistors. Then what is going to be the resistance across? Resistance across A and B here. Okay. These two terminals. The super simple shortcut formula is it is going to be 7 by 6 R. That's it. You have to remember 7 by 6 R. That's it. Okay. So your answer is ready here. So resistance across A, B is 7R by 6 is the formula. And what is R? 6 ohms. So 7 into 6 by 6. So your answer is going to be 7 ohms. Hope you have enjoyed. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.